there are sounds of garbled voices being transmitted over their walkie-talkies. The words being broadcast are inconsistent. Is airborne. Do you copy? 905 is on to a visual. So the chatter continues as the horse's hooves add dust to a windless air. It is at this moment that a rider spots the flash of light to the rear of the canyon. A brilliant flicker of sunlight bouncing off metal. The rider does not rein his horse in. That has to be him, he announces. There, at eleven o'clock. You want me to call it in? The rider that asks is the youngest of the four. His sunglasses mirror his youthful eyes. Yes, do it. The man is a murderer. The young rider earnestly reaches for his walkie-talkie as his heels dig into the flanks of his horse. David puts aside the fob watch. He rests it on the rock as he checks the approaching horseman. He is aware that they have seen him. It was he that ensured sunlight would ricochet off metal. David digs into his shirt pocket. His fingers are trembling as he removes the match-thin tube of blueprint. It is less than an inch in length. He holds it between two fingers and gently places it under the weight of the fob watch. The time is now twenty-five minutes after nine. The vulture continues flying in his lazy circle. His head shifts. He blinks against the breeze. Satisfied that the tube of blueprint is secure from uninvited breeze, David again picks up the Swiss Army knife. The instrument offers childhood memories, but these must remain forgotten now, as David wipes the blade on his sleeve. To character, and even at this moment of his life, he is cautious of his own hygiene. David opens his mouth. He brings the blade up and into his mouth. The heat of his breath mists the blade. With his free hand, David pulls back his upper lip into a snarl. He closes his eyes against the sweat that is freely running down his forehead. He bears the lateral incisor to his fingers, to the blade of the Swiss Army knife. The flesh on his knuckles has paled. The first jab of the blade at the base of the incisor causes David to retch. He spits away the sour bile that has risen in his mouth as he struggles to inhale through his nostrils. A tear forms in the corner of his right eye and it collects dust as it descends. David lifts his upper lip. A thin line of blood stains his gums. He brings up the blade yet again and allows it to hover there as he opens his eyes and 